I would make my old Unity platformer game in Godot. Oh, and I forced myself to finish it in one week, so this is how it went. So let's start with playing the original Unity game. Okay, so this is the original game. Well, there's a lot of problems. First of all, the controls. It sucks. Second, the game looks very bland and the main character is a square. There are games where the main character is a square, but for this remake, I'm going to create something else. So I'm going to be using the Godot engine. Why? Um, because uh, I, I don't really know. I started with making a sprite for the main character. After a while, I came up with this, but it could need some extra ears. Much better. If you're thinking why it looks so cheap and bad, well, well, you're, you're right, it looks a bit bad, but for side-by-side -side comparison, I think this is enough. So I'm using old pictures as references, and the original ground doesn't really look that great. I mean, it's just a black rectangle, so I'm remaking it. I was planning to go for a futuristic style, not sure if it looks like it though. After making a few variations of the floor, I started working on the prototype. I spent a lot of time coding the player movement script and I totally didn't copy the code from a previous project of mine as that would be very lazy enough. So this is how it looks like. I made the character a bit slippery because it encourages the player to keep running and not stop. Does it though? I'm not sure I watched too little game makers too good. So here's the final result. Well, it looks okay, but maybe flickering lights that may or may not cause photosensitive epilepsy may help. I toned down the saturation and it looks much better now. Now let's move on to the levels. Again, I used the original levels as references. For the first level, I added this spike thingy that kind of looks like Triforce from The Legend of Zelda. And I added this jump pad thingy, which was not from the original game, but who cares at this point. I cut it in, and as always, it doesn't work on the first try. Once I got it working, I realized something is very wrong about this. I mean, the cat is sliding his legs across the levels. Eventually, he will look like this. So, I added animations for him, and now he looks like the run flash game. Then I worked on the second level. I added the white lava thing from the previous game. And I added an orb. Now I think about it, I should have just kept the square look for the main character and called it the game Geometry Dash 2D Platformer game. I also added the sign as the finish line. For the previous game, I made most of the sprites in the pixel art software because I'm lazy and bad at drawing. But this time, I made it in the drawing software because I'm not lazy. Technically, it's still pixel art because it's made out of pixel. So I changed the Zelda spike back to just a white spike. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks better now though. Next, moving on to the third level where the main mechanic of the game comes in. Wall jumping. <sighs> Although in the current game, the wall jumping is still probably terrible. But it's way better than this. I mean, come on, it's not even a competition. I added post-processing and made the camera zoom out, I mean, you can't even see anything previously. I made an arrow sprite, which I used for decoration and for making the booster, which is clearly stolen from Happy Wheels. I mean, took inspiration from, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not going to show you all of the levels, but you can play the game for yourself and find out. Next, I added some sound effects with BFXR, and went on YouTube and found a bopping scene wave song. After that, everything was done. I've uploaded the game on each dial. You can click the link in the description if you want to play it out. So I guess that's the end of the video. I don't know how to end a video.